Greetings Geeshlings, Geeshin Prime here, doing my review of Attack on Titan Chapter 91, Beyond the Ocean. Confusion is a key word here, because I don't know what was going on. Started out with a bunch of characters, we don't have a clue who they are. Later it's kind of revealed that it's Marley. So, obviously, Beyond the Ocean is from the island, anyway. Which is kind of what I figured in the beginning. I was like, okay, seeing what's happening at the same time. Cool, cool. Doesn't seem that way after all. Because <laughs> they're talking about titans and everything, and you... Just confusion. So this may be a relatively short video, because... I really don't know where the story's going at this point, <laughs> but it was a good chapter. I did enjoy it. Okay, but yeah, the, the summary goes as this. We get at the coastline of Marley, across the ocean, get a bunch of, well, there was two of them, two characters, two others that were dead, and they looked like they were digging a trench. And then an explosion had gone off, killing at least one of them, and then another one was dead. And uh, No, wait, there were five people. I, I, I've, the one was, like, real far off. And it was like, okay, who are these people? Then, it's like, ah, oh, brother, it's like, a, you came, and picks up the one dude who was, like, just, like, up into the sky, and it's like, you saw a bird and everything, and... Then you get an overview, which was a very nice picture. I didn't bring it up. This stuff never comes to mind when I actually read half the time. <laughs> ah, crucial thinker, I am not. At least in the moment. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, yeah, you, you see like a bird's eye view of the battlefield, as it turns out. There's like what looks to be like which was just further confusion was like it was like one of the paradise island and i was like no that can't be it because it's right there on the ocean you can see the the coastline so that's not it and there's all these train tracks later i found out they were tra you find out they're train tracks i didn't know what the hell they were <clears throat> and then there's like a like a gunner box encampment whatever on one, near one of those tracks and there what lobbed a, uh, a grenade at those first five people we saw and uh, anyway then our main characters for at least this chapter possibly more as I kind of found out what might be going on I don't know at least a potential pathway for the series <clears throat> Um, which I'll get to that later. Um, make it into a trench of their own doing, which, as it kind of turns out, that's actually what they were doing in the beginning. They were digging a trenchway to kind of give themselves some cover while they made their way towards that gunner box. I, I don't know. There's a term for it, I'm sure, but I'm not a military person, so let me know in the comments, because I do like to learn things. Anyway, so, yeah. They make it to their trench. We meet a lot of the characters. Uh, Falco is the name of the guy who was just looking up at the sky. His brother's name is Colt. Animal names. Okay, and I made a wrong reference. I said Falco Punch. Wrong franchise. I'm sorry for all the Nintendo fans out there. Eyes are bad. Anyway the uh, <clears throat> so yeah <laughs> beyond my own stupidity we go on a guy that looked like Hanji which I was like what because last time we saw I was gone so this wasn't the same character but six face syndrome I suppose <clears throat> you know where an artist only can like draw so many facial structures and then eventually they start to repeat and 
Ishiyama is kind of that kind of artist. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's noticeable. <clears throat> then we meet, uh, which I don't remember what her face looked like, but there's Sophia, Yudo, which was the Hanji lookalike, Gabby, who is probably gets award for best character. Obviously, then there's there was Colt and Falco, Captain Magath, or Gath, yeah, Magath. And I believe that was all the characters there were. They mentioned two others, but we didn't get to actually see them. They start bringing up stuff like, oh, the, the war we started four years ago, so is this in the past? Is it a time skip? What's going on? Really not a whole lot of information going. We're just getting like little tidbits here and there, and it just furthers into the spiral known as confusion. But, uh, then at one point it's mentioned like nine years ago when they started the... I think it was called the the it will come to me Paradise Island Retrieval Plan or it was the Titan Retrieval Plan something like that and that they had lost the Colossal Titan and the Female Titan which further pointed to maybe the past because obviously we know kind of what happened to them but maybe not you know but it couldn't be the a time skip, you know, because Armin is the new Colossal Titan, to what we know at the moment. And Annie is still in her crystal form, as far as we know. So, those are to the two AWOL Titans. And apparently, the these are cadets. And they're like special warriors that are being trained, and they're candidates for being the chosen titans so that's interesting uh, from there uh, we find out that the that large facility that we saw in the overview shot is actually a slave encampment fortress I guess Eldians are being enslaved there so they're trying to liberate them and whatnot. So that's good. So that presumably it is the Marlians that are head over that fortress. And they also have a great weapon which looks like a armored train kind of tank. <laughs> or double tank really. That apparently can kill a titan. One shot. It's like bam. Which then made the our new main characters kind of worried about sending in their two titans which one of the names I I'm having a hard time remembering it was uh, Galder I believe who we do get to see later on um, and I missed like they mentioned the two titans they have the jaw titan and the cart titan so the the four-legged titan, the mule titan, whatever anyone's ever been calling them has now been at least semi-confirmed that it has a real name. It is the cart titan. I kind of preferred mule to be honest, but whatever. Those are the two titans that are under this group's control right now. And they're kind of worried about sending them in because obviously with this weapon, which is now being carted out on the rail tracks, and it's like, well, they'll just die. And it's like, that's when Gabby, like I said, award for best ca new character, steps up. She was in the background strapping seven explosives together. And she's like, Hey, I'm going to be the candidate to become the new Armor Titan. Which, speaking of Armor Titan, if this is a time skip, four to nine years in the future, we might have saw Rainer as a paratrooper, it looked like. <clears throat> which, at this point, if it is nine years, then yes, he's probably 
at the point where you know Titan users are or Titan shifters are at the end of their lives because they only get about a 10 year thing after they get the power so that's kind of bad but uh, which means Aaron and Armin may actually be dead already if this is the future so that's saddening <laughs> because like we didn't even get to see Armin do anything <laughs> so who knows but yeah we might have seen Rainier and we may have met his replacement so that's interesting anyway she's like okay I'm gonna go blow up that gunner and it's like she uh, but then the captain's like nope denied and it's like aw but we have all these 800 troops and it's like do you want them to die or do you want me to possibly die and then you only lose one opposed to your 800 so gutsy girl gutsy girl she eventually gets approval she strips down to her undergarments and starts heading on and she was dragging the bomb on her leg so that it was not visible and as it's turned out that um, the military or what I assume is their version of the military at this point um, cannot shoot civilians in civilian clothing so that's why she stripped down was to give the, some level of like oh she's a civilian well they kinda sus one guy who was like on the side he wasn't manning the main gun was like no she might be a trained soldier it's like shoot her shoot her now and he's like if you wanna shoot her shoot her with your own damn gun so he does she I forget what happened but it was like she dodged and then she actually lobs the bomb at them blowing up that and derails the train tank thing the the giant's cannon I think is what it was actually called or cannon of the giants which then then crashes into the encampment further destroying it and all that stuff so which then you thought, yay, they won, small victories. They're not dead yet. Because then she starts getting fired upon because the guy who wanted to kill her before, like, gets a hold of the gun while it in the in shambled uh, little encampment they got. And it's like, you're gonna die! <laughs> and that's when reinforcements come in the form of Falco he's like no Gabby don't he had to run after her when she first jumped out I forgot that part but then um, what was his name I, I'm forgetting his name already uh, Galder shows up and he swoops in transforms off off screen we now get to see what the jaw titan looks like big old mask-esque looking face you can see like the sinews around the inside the eye holes so I don't know if the jaw titan is supposed to symbolize like a growth that came off the thing and just kinda grows over the face or what could be possible titans are weird <laughs> uh. so yeah shields the two of them and then goes in and starts trying to attack the gunner and he's possibly shooting maybe armor piercing bullets because it kind of looked like it was doing a little damage but not much so I don't know about that but overall a great chapter I loved it, it confusing as all hell but enjoyment is had I recommend anyone to read it if you haven't read up to this point yet. So, this may, if this is a time skip, this may just be the signs of like a second half of the series, as Roger kind of made hints to. I watched his video, Roger's Base, 
before I did this to maybe it could clear up some things for me because I was just like what <laughs> I don't know if it's in the future the past what I'm confused I don't know things so good chapter I give it a solid four just like Roger because the confusing parts knocks off a point otherwise I'd give it a five because you had gutsy new characters we've never met before we got to see at least one new Titan that we've never seen before. So, great chapter. I loved it. I'll see you next month with the next review. Maybe this is signs of a second half of the series. Who knows? But thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Keeshlings roll out.